can love be in action? Actions can be in love. Inaction can also be in love. Love is far bigger than action and inaction. In love you act. In love you don't act. In love you act in one way. In love you act in a totally different way. In love you sometimes act as shirin. In love you sometimes act as somebody else. In love it is not your name that is important. In love it is love that is important. Sometimes you are a lover, sometimes you are a nanny. Love plays dice with your identities. Love makes a mockery of your names. Hmm? Somebody agrees. Now you are a learned scholar. And after a while, you are a caretaker. Who are you? Love does not allow you to remain anybody. Love remains. All else is negotiable and fungible. Sometimes you move left and immediately after you move, Right. Which action are you talking of? Any particular action? No, love is not there in any particular action. Love is there only in being particular about love. That was some applause. Right, Shireen? So yes, love shines forth in action, but not in any particular action. Neither in any particular action, nor even in absence of action. In love, anything is possible and to anybody. Because you are no particular self in love. To be in love is to see your face. Changed and distorted and beautified in the mirror a thousand times in the day. As if a smoke shield is covering your face. And when and again that haze clears off, you see a different face. Who are you in love? Nobody but the lover. All other names come and go. Hmm? All other actions too come and go because the actions obviously are a function of the actor. When the actor himself is appearing and disappearing, how can actions remain constant and consistent? Therefore, love appears like such a big madness. Not only are the actions changing, even the actor is changing. But deep in the heart of each of these actors is their one desire called love. The faces are changing, the heart is the same. Some people mistake the changing faces for disloyalty. Good luck to them. Some people mistake the constancy in faces as fidelity. Good luck to them as well.
What is it about faces that obsesses you so much? Huh? How will you then love the one with no face? No particular face.